during the last year during the celebration of uh, Mashujadi, uh, the Universal Healthcare uh, Week, specifically that day, the president uh, specifically approved a special economic zone in Thika to be specifically for pharmaceutical industries. That means the government is encouraging investments in the local production. Mm -hmm. We've also now made it mandatory by KEMSA to ring fence uh, tenders for local companies. They will not be competing with the foreign companies because we do know sometimes some of those countries provide subsidies to their manufacturers. Mm -hmm. So we have tried to ring fence. Any product that is manufactured locally will be given preference when it comes to government tenders. To the tenders for manufacturing. Yes. Since you've mentioned KEMSA, before we take a quick breather, KEMSA is owed approximately 2 billion shillings by counties. You know? No, to be specific, it is 3.4. 3.4. Yes. Wow, that's an assumption. So how are you ensuring that this does not happen again? Is there a mechanism to ensure that if government is giving uh, these monies to the counties, or rather doing the disbursement, why, do not, why not pay KEMSA direct? I mean, what are we thinking? How we, we looked at the, the constitution, we looked at the laws that we have currently. Uh, we had engagement with the National Treasury. It was not possible mm -hmm. to deduct the money at source. And therefore, the money had to go first to the counties, and counties had other priorities. By the time they are paying KEMSA, it mm -hmm. takes more than 90 days. Now, we are reforming this. We are saying, and we have engaged with the governors. We've agreed that they are ready now because they have realized the importance of ensuring that their drugs are within their facilities. So with the proper digitization and now the social health working, we are going to pay directly to the facilities. And as I've said 